Hello, and welcome to Mr. C's presentation on multiple digit addition. We're talking about adding big numbers here. This is no single digit stuff. So if you don't know how to add single digits yet, you better get on it before you finish watching this video, okay? So first, as you always ask me, Mr. C, why do we even care about this stuff? All right, now that we're out of geometry and we're into some uh, addition skills, we're gonna start talking about money. That's what I mean when I say finances, all right? Money has a lot to do with addition, or I should say addition has a lot to do with money. You wanna keep track of your cash? You gotta know how to add it up, right? Okay? Um, you can get ripped off very easily if you don't know how to add. We're gonna see that in just a second. And of course, you gotta know how to add if you wanna go further in math. Addition is one of the, the basic skills. So pay attention, uh, learn how to do it, and then we're gonna go forward into subtraction and then into multiplication and then in, into even bigger things like decimals, okay? So I'm gonna introduce this concept with a new segment that I like to call Get in School by Mr. C. We're going to meet someone in this video that does not know how to add. And we're going to see why that stinks. All right, check it out. Hey, Lucy, come on over here. So I owed you $25 that you let me borrow last month. And then I owe you $34 in back allowances, right? Does that sound right? Okay, so I think I can tally that it comes to about $40 altogether. Does that sound right? All right, here you go. Hey, Lucy, you just got schooled by Mr. C. Ouch. Yes, she got schooled. But if you don't know how to add, you don't know why. So let's do it, all right? We're gonna learn it. I'm gonna introduce a couple of different problems here. So uh, we got 54 plus 32. Uh, we're gonna do 163 plus 45. And then our last problem, it's actually gonna be lined up for us, 89 plus 52. So I want to draw your attention to, to this uh, bottom problem down here. See how it's lined up nice and straight? That's what we have to do with the top ones as well. Now you gotta, gotta, gotta remember to line up your place value. Say that with me. Line up your place value. Line up your place value. Line up your place value. All right, if it helps, write the problem backwards. So we're gonna start out with the ones place, four, and then move to the tens place, five. So we have 54. Okay, and then we're going to line up our place values again. The two's in the one's place and the 32, so we're gonna put it right below. And then the three's in the tens place. Now, all we do is start out on the right-hand side. It's like the opposite of reading. A lot of times with math, uh, you do the opposite of reading, or at least you feel like you're doing the opposite of when you're learning how to read or when you're reading from left to right. A lot of math things go from right to left. So we're gonna go to the one's place first. Four plus two is six. And five plus three is eight. If you didn't know that, well, you better learn how to do single digit addition before you're learning how to do this more complicated stuff. Okay, so let's go on to the second problem. Okay, I'm gonna write it backwards again because maybe that helped some people. We've got the three in the ones place, the six in the tens place, and the one in the hundreds place. And then we're gonna line up our ones places with the 45. And then the four in the tens place goes right below it. Okay, see how our ones places are lined up and our tens places are lined up. And then, oh my gosh, there's nothing under the hundreds place. That's okay, all right? It's just gonna drop down. You'll see when we get there. Three plus five is eight. Okay, now here comes the hard part. This is the hard part of learning how to add. So if you're spacing out, pay attention now. Six plus four is 10. But you can't just write 10 down here, okay? That, that doesn't make sense, or, or at least you're not gonna get the answer that you need to get. So you're gonna take, okay, six plus four is 10. You're gonna take the number that's in the ones place of that little answer and drop it down. So since it's 10, we're gonna drop down to zero, and then you're gonna take the one and carry it over this other one over here. <gasps> so now we have numbers to add over here. Okay, move right on to the next column. One plus one is two. 
163 plus 45 is 208. Woohoo! All right, let's go on to the third one. Change my colors again. 9 plus 2. We're going to do this again. Okay? It's 11. But we're not going to write 11 down here. We're going to take the number in the ones place of that short little answer and drop it down. One, and then carry the one over on top over here. Whoa, now we got three numbers to add up. Look, one plus eight is nine. Nine plus five is 14. So we've got, I'll do this little graphic again. Maybe it helps some people. Okay, we're gonna take the number from the ones place and drop it down, but Mr. C, you can just write it. No, get into the habit of carrying. Carry that number over. Okay, now one plus zero plus zero is one. 89 plus 100, or plus 52 is 141. I believe I set it up so we would get some answers here. Nope, I didn't. Okay, so let's go ahead and erase that. What did we learn? Well, we learned a few things. Knowing single digit addition is important, especially when you're dealing with your money. We also learned always line up your place values. Always, always, always line up your place values. And we learned an important skill. We learned how to carry. Okay. When you're adding multiple digits and you line it up the right way, uh, you have to carry numbers over to the next column sometimes. All right? So that was really quick, kind of basic. You're, you may have to practice with it a little while. You may need some help from your teacher or from your mom or from whoever you're with. Um, and uh, you know, uh, maybe you can find some other resources if you didn't quite get it or back it up and try those problems that I did before I actually did them. See if you can get the right answer. But right now, I want you to apply what you just learned to the problem that Lucy had. How bad did she get schooled? All right, if you remember, <sighs> I told her, okay, I owe you 25 bucks and then I owe you another 34. Okay, so the answer to that's 40, right? Is it? Spoiler alert, it's not. The answer's not 40. What is it? You know how to add now, okay? Line up your place values and see if you can come up with an answer for how much money I actually did owe Lucy. All right? Good luck. I hope this helped. I'll see you in multiple digit subtraction, which is coming up next.